When I'm riding through your hood, east side, be with me. So the pole at his coming zone, me with me. I'm back. Any nigga got a problem with Rest in peace to speaker knockers, man. You know what I'm saying? Young Rich is it's the speaker knockers. It's the speaker knockers. All right, so look, man. Quick video here. I just haven't seen enough people talking about this. And me, myself, personally, I think this is a pretty big deal. So I thought I'd try to shed a little light on it. Now, late South Carolina rapper, Speaker Knockers. It's the Speaker Knockers. When did he pass away? Uh, I think it was back in 2014. Yeah, March 2014. And he was only 19 years old. Now, as y'all know, I'm from North Carolina. Just like the movie The Woods. My name, Big Mike. I'm from North Carolina. I like sports and that's it. I'm from Winston-Salem. North Carolina, I like sports, and that's it. So speaker knockers, being right next door to me in South Carolina, he was a big deal. Young guy, had his own music label, 100% independent. He was his own producer. He produced music for uh, Gucci Mane, Meat Mill, all at the age of 19. I don't think y'all understand this. You know how all of these people be signing to Empire or like a distribution company? I'm still independent. Which technically is true. You are an independent artist, but you get in distribution help uh, from Empire. But again, you're still getting help. And also, you gotta pay people for studio time. You gotta pay producers for beats. So really, you're not independent. When I say Speaker Knuckles was independent, I 100% mean independent at the age of 19. That is wild. He recorded his own music, made his own beats, was signed to his own label. Like y'all know how that rapper Russ from Atlanta, he, he's always bragging about being independent. Rightfully so, because he's actually one of the very few that's doing it independently. But Speaker Knockers was even more independent than him. And at 19 years old, I'm sorry, there's something to brag about. So again, rest in peace to Speaker Knockers. And let's not even bring up the fact that half of the uh, music industry at one point was sounding exactly like him. Even till this day. Your little Uzis, little Techers, little Skies or Skis, whatever this guy name is, I don't know. Nav. All of these guys are byproducts of speaker knockers. A Boogie. The list goes on, man. But as you can see from the title, if you are a speaker knockers fan, we got some good news. After a decade following his demise, his untimely death, we are finally getting new music. And this is what his team had to say to announce it. Speaker Knockers. The GOAT. March 15th, 2024. Ten long years have passed since the untimely passing of the great Speaker Knockers, leaving his family, friends, and fans devastated. However, hope has finally arrived as his hidden vault has been open to release a collection of his unreleased beats. With nine fire beats waiting to be discovered, Nock is sure to prove himself as one of the best producers in history, even a decade after his tragic passing. It's safe to say that the GOAT album is genuinely a masterpiece, with rap artists sure to fight to secure a speaker Nock's beat. We can't wait to hear the sounds of his new music and see his production continue to live on in the hearts of his fans worldwide. Pre-save now, link in bio. So as you can see, this isn't a false alarm or anything. It's actually happening. You can actually go and pre-save the album right now. They have a track list here. Uh, let's see. And yeah, right at the bottom, you see, produced by Speaker Knockers. So what it looks like is this is gonna be an instrumental project by Speaker Knockers. They're releasing nine new beats by Speaker Knockers. And it's looking like whatever rappers reach out and it actually makes sense, they're going to get to use the Speaker Knockers beat. So for example, and this is actually a true story, Kevin Gates is a huge fan of Speaker Knockers. Actually, he said that's one of his regrets. He, he never got a chance to uh, collab with him. That's one of his dream collabs. He was on The Breakfast Club saying how Speaker Knockers music actually helped him get through his jail time. He even remixed a Speaker Knockers song. I had to make a couple bands by my lonely. 
I had to make a couple bins by my lonely. The speaker knocker song. But uh, for example, now Kevin Gates, he has a chance to collab with Speaker Knocker by using the beat that Speaker Knocker's made. You get what I'm saying? So this is definitely a good look for Speaker Knocker's legacy. And man, if you're a fan like myself, this is probably the best news we've heard from Speaker Knockers since his death. Because a lot of rappers are about to reach out, trust me. You don't think Lil Uzi want a Speaker Knockers beat? And also, before I let you guys go, for the people saying, well, it's nice that we're getting Speaker Knockers beat, but we actually want Speaker Knockers music. Here's his people re replying to a comment in the comment section. So it looks like we're getting actual Speaker Knockers songs as well. They said that's coming soon too. But anyway, man, how y'all feel about this? Let me know in the comment section, bro. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell, man. Hey, man, follow me on Instagram. TZF baby, two five two. Rest the piece of speaker knock. Oh, gone. Bitch, I'm in the street. Fuck this in the street.